Hi, question number 8. Express 5x plus 3 over x plus 1 to the square times 3x plus 2 in partial fractions. Second part. Hence, obtain the expansion of 5x plus 3 over x plus 1 to the square times 3x plus 2 in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x square, simplifying the coefficients. Okay, to express this uh, expression in partial fraction, what I've done here, and uh, you can see that this is equal to, we have a repeated linear factor here, x to the square, so a over x plus 1, b over x plus 1 to the square, plus c over um, 3x plus 2. Now, to be able to do that, so you cancel x plus 1, x plus 1 here, you end up with this, x plus 1 times 3x plus 2 x plus 1 to the square, x plus 1 to the square cancels out, 3x plus 2 times b. 3x plus 2, 3x plus 2 cancels out, you've got x plus 1 to the square times c. Right, now from here you can replace, uh, you can say that when x is equal to minus 1. So if you replace minus 1 here, you will see that b is going to be equal to 2. So when x is equal to this time, I've got uh, 3x plus 2, so let us say minus 2 over 3, and if you replace it in here, you're going to get minus 1 third is equal to 1 over 9c, which basically means that c is going to be equal to minus, uh, c is going to be equal to minus 3. Now we can uh, compare the coefficients of x squared. Let's do that. No x squared here. So that means the coefficient of x squared is equal to 0 on the left-hand side. On the right-hand side, x times 3x is 3x squared times a, so coefficient of x squared is 3a. And over here, no x squared. Over here, x squared times c is cx squared, so coefficient of x squared is c. We found earlier that uh, c was minus 3, so you can replace c by minus 3 here. You will see that 0 is equal to 3a minus 3. That means that a is equal to 1 and therefore we have uh, the partial fraction so these are the values and you can replace them uh, therefore your answer should then be 1 over x plus 1 okay plus b and b is uh, 2 so plus 2 over x plus 1 to the square and then c is minus 3 so minus 3 over 3x plus 2 so now that's the first part to this question. The second part of the question, we need to expand the expression 5x plus 3 over x plus 1 to the square times 3x plus 2 up to including the term x squared, simplifying the coefficients. To expand this, we're going to use the result we found in part 1 which was 1 over x plus 1, okay, plus 2 over x plus 1 to the square, minus 3 over 3x plus 2. For this one, it's going to be 1 plus x to the power of minus 1. And if you were to expand this, 1 plus uh, minus 1 times x plus... Um, minus 1 times minus 2 over factorial of 2 times x squared and all of that would give you uh, 1 minus x mm, plus x squared. If you were to expand this part here that's 2 times um, 1 plus x to the power of minus 2 and so we have 2 times inside 1 plus minus 2 times x plus uh, minus 2 times minus 3 over factorial of 2 times x to the square and it's going to go forever. So 2 into 1 minus 2x um, plus uh, 3x square. Further expansion is going to be 2 minus 4x plus uh, 6x squared. Alright, so what about this one here? So we can say 3 outside, this is going top, so we have then uh, 2 plus 
3x to the power of minus 1, which is exactly the same as 3. You can put the 2 outside, that's 2 to the power of minus 1, and inside you're going to be left with 1 plus 3 over 2x to the power of minus 1. This here is 3 over 2. Expanding this, 1. Okay, so minus 1 times, this is going to be minus uh, 3 over 2x, then plus uh, minus 1 times minus 2 over factorial of 2, times 3 over 2x all squared, and let us do the expansion, so 1 minus 3 over 2x, and from here, this here is going to be exactly as 1. Okay, and this is going to be plus 9 over 4. x squared. Isn't it? Yeah. So 9 over 4 plus x squared. So if you x, now you do the distribution, 3 over 2 minus 9 over 4. x and then plus 3 times 9 is 27 over 8. x squared. Okay, so we're going to use this, this, and this plus minus so we've got one plus two let us do it in this corner here so one plus two minus three over two work that out it's going to end up as three over two okay so this is our first result then you have um, minus x minus four x minus minus nine over x so minus x minus four x minus minus nine over four x you work it out and you're going to end up as minus 11 over 4x. Second result. Okay. And uh, what about this one now? x squared plus 6x squared. So x squared plus 6x squared uh, minus 27 over 8x squared. So that's like 7 minus 27 over 8. So let me check it out. 7 minus 27 over 8 is going to give you 24, 29 over 8. So that's going to be 29 over 8 x squared. All right, so therefore the answer to the question is going to be then um, 3 over 2, okay, minus 11 over 4 x squared plus 27 over 8 X squared. I'm sorry, this is not x squared, this is x, just x. Here we are, x, x, sorry about that. So here we go. Okay, so take care.